Good to know you're still with us on The Breakfast this morning. It's time to take a look at what is in the press this morning. Uh, we start with this day. But first, let me introduce our guest who will help us unravel what's behind the headlines. I'm talking about the core convener of Bring Back Our Girls group, Aisha Yusufu. A pleasure to have you always. Thanks for joining us. Can you hear me, Aisha? Okay, I think we have um, all your issue, but let's, um, let me start with the papers this day and hope we will address that in a bit. Uh, Dowsing tension, Abasaki, Izei, Yamu, others commits to peace, peaceful election. Tunubu urges electorate to reject Edo Gov. We will win, Atiku, PDP reply. Emefile urges banks to raise agric lending to 10%. Shoinka backs Obasan just says Nigeria divided under Buhari. Buhari, I borrow to fix infrastructure, attract investments. And then there is um, a rider to that. Advisory Council lists measures to lift 100 million from poverty. Uh, there's always a reaction to comments like that. Um, FG Labour talks on petrol price rise and in stalemate. Uh, those are the headlines on the front page of this day. Let's see if we have Aisha back. Aisha, can you hear me? Oh, can you hear me now, Aisha? Yes, I can hear you now. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, All I right. Hear you. I, I just recapped some of the headlines on this day newspaper. I don't know if you've gone through okay. them already. Yeah, so I got I, I got quite a number of them. For a while, uh, it was a bit off. So thank you so much, Felicity, for having me. And I think I'll just start from the top, mm -hmm. uh, where MFLA uh, urges bank to raise agri lending to 10%. Uh, this would be a good one, except for the fact that what we normally have, we have different types of farmers in Nigeria. We have two classes of farmers, the real farmers and the political farmers. And uh, so in the agri sector, you find out that the real players end up not getting this money, and it's the political players that end up getting the money. You find people who are pseudo farmers, who are political farmers, they have nothing on ground, but they once with the laws, and at the end of the day, it becomes a major problem where the aim is actually uh, defeated. So everything that can be done to ensure that the real farmers are actually getting this money and upgrading uh, where they need to in the agri sector, I'm not just looking at agri sector, but also looking at the fact that there is a distribution chain within that agri sector, which is often neglected. And uh, so people, most times they give this thought and they will tell you that, oh, the distribution chain, the distributors are not supposed to be part of the loans. And you're wondering who is going to buy this thing uh, from, from the farmers and also from the agri companies. Because at the end of the day, the link between the wholesalers, the farmers, and the consumers is actually uh, the distributors. I'll go on to Okay, I think uh, we have that issue yeah. again. Um, Aisha, your audio keeps going off. On that, um, uh, on that Bukhari. And it's so unfortunate that uh, the president... Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. And so, so it's so unfortunate that the president, who came on the mantra of change, who in 2015, when he came in, people across Nigeria from different tribes different religion, you know, believed in the change mantra and voted for him and expected so much from him. The least he could have done was to have united, used that mantra, which for the first time, other than 1993, when we had the Hope 93, we hadn't had such a unifying... Uh, okay, the thing with technology, this happens. Nigeria, different statement from the 97.5% and all of that. And we have uh, so much more. I'm uh, uh, looking at this uh, on the issue of uh, Obaseki and Zayam who are committing to peaceful election. It's really sad what they've turned uh, Edo State into. A, or Edo State is like a field, it's a battlefield, blood is being drawn and all of that. And at the end of the day, it's the followers that we end up killing themselves while these politicians who have no ounce of how do I, there's no ideology. They move from one party to the other. They, uh, they just ensure their supporters kill themselves, maim themselves. 
Okay, um, I think we keep having these uh, breaks. It's um, a network. We'll go on a very short break, and when we come back, hopefully, uh, the network will be friendlier. Don't go away. <laughs>